Hi there guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to root the AT&T Galaxy S2 on 2.3.6 Gingerbread. And I'll have all the steps in the description below, uh, just as they are here, and they'll also include all the links and downloads that you'll need. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you might want to read through how to root the Galaxy S2 uh, at galaxyst2root.com. Uh, it's not the same tutorial uh, because it's for 2.3.4, but a lot of the steps are quite similar. And so if you read through this and see their pictures, uh, you might already have a better idea of what you're actually doing. But either way, I'll walk you through each step. Okay, so now over at the phone you'll see what I'll be doing. And you can see that this is indeed an AT&T Galaxy S2, and I'll show you what it's running right now. Okay, so there you can see that it is indeed running Android 2.3.6 with the current baseband and kernel and build number UCKK6. All right. And I'll also show that we are not rooted yet. I'll run something that requires root. Let's try ROM manager. Okay. And right there you can see that it's complaining that I am not rooted. So we're going to go to the market now and download ROM manager. I already have it installed, but I'll just do it again just to show you. And the reason why we're doing this now and not later after we're rooted is that... Um, we're actually going to lose uh, the Wi-Fi in the middle of rooting, and so this way we can download it just to save some on your data because we'll be able to do it over Wi-Fi right now. So I'll just type in ROM Manager. There we go. And there's a paid and free version, but the free one works just fine for what we need. You'll click Install, but for me I already have it, so there's no point. So once you have that installed, we can now flip back to the computer and start the next step. You can start off uh, by grabbing uh, keys from Samsung's website, and that link is in the description, and you'll just want to go to software and download keys right here. Just go ahead and click that, click the EXE and we can just run that. And you'll see that now Keys is running and installing. Okay, so that's finished installing now. We're going to go ahead and download the program, which is going to root it for us. It's all in this one zip in the link. Uh, that I provide uh, on galaxyS2root.com. So just go ahead and click that. Should pop up with the download page. Here we go. We'll just have to wait a few seconds. All right. Click here to download. And we're going to go ahead and save as and we'll just put it on our desktop for now. Okay, so that's finished downloading now. So we can X out of that, get out of that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and unzip our download and extract it to our desktop, just like that. And now you can see all the files that we need. Okay, so now what we're gonna have to do is plug this up uh, to our computer through USB. So it's plugged in right now. And you can see that I have right here that I'm plugged into USB. We don't need to uh, mount the storage. It's fine to leave it just as is. And next we're going to enter into download mode uh, once it's plugged in. So what we're going to do I can do this with one hand, is push the 
volume rocker up and down and the power button at the same time. Let's see, and this is to enter download mode. There we go. Okay, so once we have that, we want to continue. So hit volume up. There you go. And we're all set now. Um, now I can flip back to the computer and show you how we're actually going to root it. We can run Odin, which is the program that's going to root our phones for us. So we can go ahead and open that. Click yes. And what you'll see here is some similar number, COM3. It's actually uh, where, which USB port uh, your phone is plugged into, but it's just important that you have some number there, which means that your phone is recognized, meaning that all the drivers from key is installed correctly. So we're going to go ahead, if you see that checked, is hit PDA, not phone, and then we're going to go to our desktop. Okay, and then we're going to click this one. Okay, what we just downloaded and unzipped, the i77 uh, root stock Zito Max kernel. Okay, double click that, and we're going to go ahead and hit start. And while that runs, you'll see that now your phone has switched and says downloading. And we're done. As soon as you have this exclamation mark and it's saying it's i9100, uh, that means that uh, you are rooted now. And it's just going to restart. So we're almost there. It's just going to reboot now. Okay. So we can unlock it. And you'll see that everything is working, except if we try to go to Wi-Fi. That's where we're going to run into problems. Because Zito Max's kernel does not work on 2.3.6. And you'll see if we go to settings, about phone, we are now on Zetomax stock kernel rather than the stock Samsung one, but we're still on 2.3.6, so we haven't changed uh, Android versions, just uh, now we have a rooted kernel. However, if I go to wireless and networks, Wi-Fi settings, I can turn on Wi-Fi, but it will never find the network, and then Wi-Fi will automatically turn off. So that's the problem that we have at this point, is we are rooted, and I can show you that by going to a program like ROM Manager, skip that and it doesn't complain that there's no root, so we have root at this point. So, we'll go ahead now and do the next step on the computer. Okay, so at this point, we can go ahead and download the working kernel, which is in the link uh, below, and we just want to go down, and uh, this uh, kernel developer has it set up so that the kernels are named by month, day, and year, so we can just go ahead and grab the newest non-experimental version, which uh, is January 2nd, 2012, as of this video. Uh, if you'd like, you're welcome to choose a newer one, I just can't ensure that it works, uh, because it hasn't been out yet. So we click download, we want to save that to our desktop once again. Oh, 
okay so now that that's done we can minimize out of this and we want to copy over that file that we just downloaded let's see where it went right here the zip the dd starting with dd and ending in zip we want to copy that onto our sd card of our phone so that we can flash it with clockwork mod so i'll flip back now to the phone so you can see exactly how we're going to do that okay so back on the phone we just want to mount the SD card storage so we can go right here and once it's plugged up to the computer we can just click on the notification for USB and connect USB storage and just wait for that to finish okay so once it changes to disconnect storage from PC we're all set we're connected so we can just go to computer and find our SD card. Uh, we want to put it onto the internal SD. So you can just drag and drop that. So once you have that copied, this uh, the kernel copied on, we're all set. So we can flash it. So now we can actually eject the internal SD card and the external. Okay, so once it remo gets removed, you'll see we no longer have the removable storage from the phone. And we can flip back to the phone. And we want to disconnect the storage from here too. Okay, so we're all set now to flash that new kernel. So now we just have to disconnect the USB so that we don't go into download mode again. Ugh. Can't get it out with one hand. Okay, there we go. And we want to again do the three button hold, but this time with it unplugged from the computer. And this will get us into clockwork mod recovery. Keep holding until we get into it. There we go. So now you can let go. And what you can see here is we want to choose with the volume buttons. Volume down, scrolls down, volume up, goes up. And we want to install zip from SD. And then you hit the power button to select it. Oh, sorry, it's actually the home button. It depends on which version of uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery you have installed. And we want to choose that one, so hit home. Okay, and now we're going to have to find the one that we downloaded, which is right there. And hit home. And then scroll down for yes to install. Home. And you just let that run now. And you'll get a success. Install from SD complete. And so we now have that uh, working kernel installed. So you can hit back. And we can reboot system now. And now we just have to wait for it to reboot. And we should be rooted and have working Wi Fi now with this new kernel. Just about done. Okay. So to make sure everything works now. Let's turn on Wi-Fi. Okay. 
and there we go you can see Wi-Fi is working just fine I can open up something like the weather widget and refresh it and you can see that Wi-Fi is in fact working and we'll go back to settings settings about phone and right there you'll see that we're at 2.3.6 and now we no longer have Zito Max's kernel but instead have 26357 alright let's check that we have root by going to ROM manager and we do so we have root and now working Wi-Fi that's it guys hope everything works out for you if you have any questions or problems just uh, leave a comment and, ha and I'm ha more than happy to help you guys out alright see you in the next video bye